Hello and welcome to your week one, day one lecture. My name is Morgan White and I am going to be your instructor for English 149 this quarter. I'm gonna start off by introducing myself and then I'm going to launch into my syllabus policies. At any point, if you have questions, please let me know by emailing me. So here's a picture of me and my family. Um, this is on my wedding two years ago. Um, this is my husband, my, my side of the family and his side of the family. I have a 11 month old daughter named Huxley and I'm going to be talking about her probably throughout the quarter. She is my favorite person in the world. In my spare time, which is not a lot, I teach bar classes. So Bar Method is a local bar studio in San Luis Obispo. Um, ballet bar is what we kind of frame it as. So if you're ever interested in taking a workout class, feel free to stop by for that. My alma mater was UCSB, uh, Go Gauchos. I know that a lot of people uh, at Cal Poly are not happy to hear that, but um, I had some great memories there. I did get my master's from Cal Poly, though, so um, flirting with the enemy a little bit. My biggest accomplishment uh, thus far, besides having this one over here, is I climbed Half Dome or I hiked Half Dome with a group of my friends um, a few years ago now, and it was a stunning hike, but definitely. Um, mentally and physically exhausting. Catan, Settlers of Catan is my favorite board game. If you guys are into that, then we'll get along just fine. I'm also a big Game of Thrones fan, um, very nerdy. It's the best to be. My favorite podcast is called My Favorite Murder. If you guys have some time on your hands, it's a really great um, podcast that is kind of a combination of some dark stuff um, with humor. I already mentioned my connections to Canada. My husband is Canadian and we got married there. And last but not least, I have a twisted sense of humor. Um, but if you know who this person is, you can probably figure out the riddle there. Sorry, that just blocked it. All right. So I have some tips to succeed in my online course. Um, as you guys know, a lot of your instructors have never taught online before. I'm included in that category, though I do have um, trainings and background in it. So to make the quarter successful, the biggest takeaway is for us to be transparent with each other. You should be honest with me and I should be honest with you. And that starts today. Some additional tips. Um, I do recommend taking notes by hand. So study after study shows that when you take notes by hand, you retain the information better, and that includes with online course information. All of my online course material is going to be in with videos, and so every time you watch a video, keep the captions on, take notes by hand. It's going to help you for the quiz as, quizzes as well. Please watch the videos with the captions turned on. Uh, it will be helpful if you can't understand something that I say. I personally captioned all of the videos. It took me a very long time, but I wanted them to be as accessible as possible. If you notice any errors or anything, please let me know as I was very rushed when I did it. Please don't work ahead. Um, I kept my whole Canvas site completely open and accessible to everyone to look out for the full quarter in case you're interested in seeing what will happen on particular dates. However, I would like you to stay um, within the week itself that you're working on. So you can work ahead, but stay within the week. So for week one, if you wanna do all four of the, the lectures for week one all in one sitting, feel free to do that. I don't recommend it, but feel free to do it. But I wouldn't move on to week two until we hit week two. two. The reason that I say that is because I'll be sending out correspondence and emails about the subject matter that we're tackling that specific week and so if you work ahead you might miss out on some of my um, tips and tricks. Please ask questions anytime you have a question I'll be available via email and via office hours which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, I'm, I thrive in qu with questions and so I please do not hesitate to ask me any. And last but not least, let me know ahead of time if you're having any problems accessing the course material, um, if you're having problems with technology, anything like that. I would like to hear about the problems before deadlines are due, um, and that will help me address them with you. So we're going to move on to my course syllabus. 
please, if you haven't done so already, please watch the Canvas welcome video. It will show you how to work Canvas. But if you click on your syllabus section of Canvas, it will take you to this page. I'm going to work through each one of these individual categories. We'll start with instructor contact information. So as I mentioned, my name is Morgan White. This is the email that you can reach me at. I will be available via email most days between the hours of say 6 a.m. and uh, 5 p.m. It really depends on the day, uh, but my rule is that I'll respond to emails within 24 hours, um, excluding weekends. My office hours are, in, are going to be via email, Zoom, and the Skype chat feature on Outlook, and those are going to be um, determined by you guys based off the survey that you take after this. Moving on to my course information, I'll let you read a lot of this on your own time, um, the prerequisites and all that fun stuff. You do need to be an engineer if you're taking my course. If you're not an engineer or if you're not an engineering major, please email me and we'll discuss your options. The required materials for my class um, are simply having a laptop or a tablet with an up-to-date browser and operating system. This is an online class and you will not succeed if you're simply working from a phone. So please let me know if you do not have access to a laptop or a tablet uh, and we will get in touch with student success and have them coordinate something with you. You guys can look at the technical requirements and supported browsers here in addition to information about the mobile devices. If you're interested in your student learning outcomes for this quarter, please look at this bullet point as well on your own times. Um, I'll talk about the major assignments in my class in just a moment. Moving on to my course policies. So Again, this is an online course, and I designed this course to be completely asynchronous. If you haven't heard that term before, no worries. It's um, definitely a new term that's been floating around Cal Poly. Asynchronous means that you can complete each one of the required outcomes for the day on your own time at your own pace. Um, I will not be requiring you guys to meet with me at certain times ever throughout the quarter. So say you're signed up for my 7 a.m. class, we're never going to actually meet at 7 a.m. And you can all breathe a sigh of relief um, based off of that information. Um, that being said, you do have deadlines and all the deadlines are going to be listed for you on Canvas. At the end of the quarter, you're going to have a dynamic community member grade. Um, each, there are going to be a series of short assignments that you'll need to complete that fall into that category that essentially gauge your participation in the class. Um, that can range from you completing the icebreaker for today's class all the way to completing some other discussion boards down the line. And I'll always announce when your points are going to be dedicated to the dynamic community member grade. Keep in mind that your missed assignments and quizzes cannot be made up unless you have a note from a doctor. Um, I need to get that note as soon as possible um, for us to come up with a game plan together. All of your assignments for this class are obviously going to be due to Canvas. Um, your assignment schedule, which is posted on Canvas, is subject to change. However, because I've already filmed all of my lectures, unless something weird happens, um, I'm not going to be making many changes at all. And if I do make changes, I will let you know. Note that when you upload a paper to Canvas, it's considered a final submission. A lot of students like to, again, upload papers early. And if you upload it early, I will grade it early. Um, it's not fair to me or to you if you upload it early, I start grading it and assign you a grade and you email and say, actually, I have another draft for you. So I, I won't take that. Um, so please. When you upload something to Canvas, it is a final submission. Triple check to make sure that your submissions are uploaded. Problems with technology are not an acceptable excuse and um, assume that the worst will happen. Give yourself plenty of time to upload your assignments on time. I do accept late work. If you accept any, or excuse me, if you turn in anything late, it will be deducted 10 points for every day that it's late or 10 percentage points is what I mean. So say you received a 85 on an assignment but turned it in one day late, then that will be lowered to a 75. Um, and it will be 10 points for each subsequent day that it's late, including weekends and days that we don't have class. 
please turn in complete work. If you turn in an incomplete assignment, I will deduct 10 points additionally for each requirement that is not met. I do take a good amount of time giving feedback um, to my students, and so therefore grades are non-negotiable in my class. If I ever have a math-related error, which shouldn't be happening um, because Canvas does a lot of my points for me, but if I do, please let me know and, um, and I will correct the math for you, but I do not negotiate grades or points. Please check your Cal Poly, as regularly, Cal Poly email as regularly as possible because this course is online. I am expecting you to be checking it multiple times a day, um, but I will always give you at least 24 hours advance notice if I change anything in the assignment schedule. Before you email me any questions, please check to see if the question can be answered on Canvas. And you're going to have a netiquette rules um, reading upcoming pretty soon, so please read that and treat my class online as you would treat an in-person class exchange. So therefore you want to be pleasant, you don't want to be um, attacking or anything like that. I do not tolerate any kind of plagiarism in my class. Plagiarizing is taking someone else's words or ideas and treating them as your own. Um, we'll talk more about that as the quarter goes on, but please do not do that. I don't want to have to report you to the Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities. The assignments, my course is broken down into three distinct assignments or units. The first assignment that you're going to be doing is an employer employment materials assignment where you're going to write a resume and a cover letter both tailored to a specific job posting. I already talked about your dynamic community member grade. You will have quizzes and those quizzes will always be announced. Obviously they're going to be open book, but they will be timed. Um, each one will be 15 minutes long. so. Um, don't think that you can take the quiz without doing any of the readings or anything like that. The timer, um, it goes by very quickly. You'll have a group project with a local company to slow called Trees. Um, we're going to have a special presenter come in and talk about the work that you're going to be doing for his business. Um, and for that project, you're going to write a group charter memo. You're going to write a recommendation report at the end of the quarter, um, and for that report, you're going to have a proposal and an annotated bibliography. Here is the assignments table and the corresponding amount of point or percentage points that each one is. is. Here's my grading table, it's the standard Cal Poly one. And just note that for those who were admitted in fall of 2016 or later, you need to get a C minus in my class to be considered to get credit for it. So D's do not get degrees in my class. You got to get that C minus. So I have designed all of my courses, especially this online course with accessibility in mind. Um, please let me know if you have any issues accessing my course materials, um, whether it's online or not. Um, I really want to make sure that everyone is able to succeed in my course with the available information. So if you have any issues, email me or email Canvas support if it have, has to do with Canvas. A lot of the times if you're having any issues with a browser um, or something within Canvas, try opening it up in a different browser and a lot of the times it will fix that. If you have any um, questions about disability related resources, please talk to me, of course, but also talk to the Disability Resource Center. There are some additional resources that are out there to help you. Um, the Writing and Learning Center is going to be open this quarter. Um, hooray! So you can have one-on-one um, -on -one meetings with a tutor, and, but they were just they will be virtual um, via Zoom. So you can share your screen with them and they can help you um, either brainstorm for an essay or they can help you proofread. They're a great resource. English 150 will also be offered this quarter. Um, it's a one unit course, so you um, it does impact your uh, final GPA. Um, and what you do is you meet with a tutor once a week. This is going to be a virtual tutor. And um, they'll provide you feedback on your assignments and kind of hold you accountable for your writing work in my class. Very, very helpful resource. Um, if you choose to do that, contact Dawn Janke from the Writing Center. She's the director um, at this email right here. 
And I design all of my courses with diversity and inclusivity in mind. Um, I've been through extensive trainings on both of these subjects. Um, so please look at this if you're interested in how I design my courses to be inclusive. I do not tolerate any kind of um, uh, any kind of actions in my course that would be considered non-inclusive. And keep in mind that um, you have a ton of student support and basic needs resources available to you at Cal Poly. Um, feel free to take a look at this on your own time and know that um, some of them may be closed right now because the university is closed, but I can get you in touch with anyone if you're having any kind of issues. And that wraps up my syllabus. Let me just show you the assignment schedule one more time. So for today's class, you are watching this video on how to navigate Canvas, so you already watched that. You're going to complete the Getting to Know You survey by 8 p.m. You're going to participate in an icebreaker. You need to read your syllabus on your own time before you watch this video. Hopefully you did that already. You're, watching, you're currently watching this lecture on the syllabus, and then you're going to want to take the syllabus quiz by 8 p.m. Uh, if you have any questions for me, please let me know. Um, my course should be pretty self-explanatory, but I do want to make sure that everyone has as much access as possible to it. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to getting to know you in your icebreakers.